today I'm going to show you all how to order from eMart. So with the COVID-19 virus going on, I am not able to go out to eMart um, to get what I need. So I have to resort to buying it online. I find it a little bit safer to just order it online and have it shipped to me. Um, and they get it to me relatively quickly. So we're going to show you guys how to do that. So here we go. All right. So the very first thing you're going to want to do if you speak English over Korean is go up here to the left side of the website and click on English. And that magically turns everything over here into English. I have already signed in. It was relatively easy to sign up. So I don't really feel like we needed to show you guys that. So if you have questions about that, you can put them in the um, comments and I can help you with that. So here we go. Sorry, this is his computer and not mine, so things are a little bit different. We are going to be ordering a couple things today. I already have a few things in my cart, and that's because there were a couple things we needed to order um, that I already knew of prior to that that I'd already added to the cart. But we're going to add some other stuff today. So I know we needed to get some more of our little bottled waters. So we're going to find the category that says bottled water over here and click on bottled water. Super easy. And then we usually get, okay, so we get these, these little ones for our upstairs. So we'll buy um, a case of those. 20 come in a case. So I'm gonna click cart and then I'm gonna click continue shopping. And that adds that to my cart. Did it add it? Yes, so there it is in my cart. And then I'm gonna go back over here to category. Another thing, I'm also gonna look and see what's on sale. So I haven't looked at sale this week to see what they have on sale. Sometimes they can have things that I might be looking for. That's a lot <laughs> of those for $67 for 200. We don't need those right now. So I'm just going to kind of glance through here and just see, see, we can still get toilet paper here. So overall in that little bit of sale there, I'm not seeing much that we really need. Let's check out what best is. Best is this toilet paper that's three ply <laughs> and you get 30 rolls for 15 bucks. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of toilet paper up here. Apparently it's kitchen towels and toilet paper that are the best things to buy right now. Have we ever explained that no brand is an actual brand? Uh, no, we have not. Did you like to explain that no brand is an actual brand? I'll turn towards you so they can hear you on the mic. Lean in here. You lean in. Maybe if I can get in. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. So, eMart in a what I feel is a stroke of marketing genius has a store brand that is called no brand and it's it's just absolutely hilarious to me they branded it by calling it no brand and then some of the no we used to get the no brand uh kisu I think brought us yeah. those coconut cookies they're and they were really good. good let's check the I actually generally prefer no brand over a bunch of the branded ones Ooh, there's the always bought Ooh. that's confusing these are I guess are things that people always buy all right, daily deal, harem if chicken with weekend shiny discount. All right, so. The translations <laughs> are sometimes a bit Iffy, odd. yeah. All right, I uh, don't need any of that. None of that. My home is a chicken restaurant. My home is a hot place. Yes, I think we should order that. <laughs> that just sounds good in general. Soft banana easy one fits. That's really just banana milk, guys, but banana milk is good. I don't know what the essential to grow plants managing without withering is. So yeah, so some things are easy. Let's eat this tomorrow. <laughs> this is a Buttigieg kit, which, hey, that's probably not terrible. Possibly, yeah. Those fans are awesome. Do you, you want another one? I love that fan. We've I'm not like going to lie. Let's go click top. We'll go back to the top and we'll go back to categories. So fruit, any fruits that you want, Chuck? Let's show them watermelon prices just because that's fun. All right, guys, get this. These are prices for watermelons. <laughs> you Americans feel me. This is what we pay for for watermelon here. Look at that. $5 for that tiny sliver of watermelon. One. I will say this. Some of the watermelon is good, though. But there you go. That's, that, that's your watermelon. Um, all right. So we said we were going to get some meat. We we're going to get some beef. Yes, the domestic beef, because that's the Korean. So, do that soup. We're kind of looking specifically for bulgogi, but we got a really good one the last time we got it. So we're specifically looking because we want to make some bulgogi. 
another video. <laughs> so we're specifically looking for the one that's already sliced up for bulgogi. You are, can, like if you're looking for certain types of delivery, like I usually do the eMart SSG delivery, you can click that and it'll show you just the ones that are delivered by SSG, which is nice. Yeah, sorry, we don't, we haven't ordered a lot of meat off of here lately, but it's easy to get back to. Meat, domestic beef. We'll just kind of go through it. So like that's bulgogi meat. If I remember correctly, the last time we got bulgogi meat, we had to scroll for a few minutes to find it. It was pretty. Look at the price on it for that. It's pretty though. Yeah, that's grade one plus plus, so. <laughs> the grade two doesn't look bad. So if anybody's ever heard of Wagyu beef, Wagyu beef comes in grades. And the grades are similar between like Japan and Korea, but Korea seems to do like a number system, like a one plus, a two, a two plus. It's like this one is a one plus plus grade. Right. The lower the number, the better the uh, the beef. Whereas I think in Japan they do like a, a letter system. It's like grade E, grade D, grade C. The closer you get to A, the better the meat is. And then they've got a number system that's like one through seven. That one I'm not sure on. I don't know if one is better or seven, but. They're making it hard for me to find my bulgogi meat today. <laughs> Sorry for the skips in this section, but uh, it's taken us a bit to find some, some meat. All right, there's some more bulgogi meat. That's grade one versus one plus plus. All right, so we're going to go. You can get like two of those. You get two of those. We're going to get two of these. So I'll click there and add that to the cart. Go back to continue shopping. So this one is going to be a one plus plus grade. So this is going to be a really good grade. So. And yes, you're not reading that wrong. That's fifteen dollars for three quarters of a pound of beef. That's right. Just to make a video for you guys on yeah, bulgogi. Totally. Totally. We're not because we're bulgogi. hungry or something. Never. Um, okay. So that's all the meat that we really need to get because we've pretty much got meat. We don't need any rice this week. Otherwise, I would buy rice. But we're going to eventually use our rice cooker. Do we have some chilsung left, or do we need some? Um, so we're going to get some chilsung cider. So one of these. So we're going to look for the little McColls because he likes those. I did buy him. Have they seen? They've seen you drink your McColl. Yeah. You show your Here's McColl. Here's the regular soda can size one. <laughs> he likes that so much, I found him the regular soda can size one, and now he wants the skinny ones for taking to work, so... Sometimes I can type that in and find it, but the last couple of times I tried typing it in, they spell it a little differently, and it didn't pull it up. It was weird. So I'm just going to search for it. You want some 24-pack of Dr. Pepper for 15 bucks? 250 milliliter. That one's bigger, right? Yeah, this is 355. All right, so we'll get him one of those. That'll make him happy. So I will show you the most evil thing that they have in the bakery. It's these this so good it's these croissants with this cream filling so and the, look they're four dollars and fifty cents they're cheap and it comes with like what 12 of them, 12 of them yeah it's yeah. 12 of them so all of my friends love them so sometimes when i order i just order a bunch of them and then just split them up and take them to the girls no i'm being good i'm not gonna get that again um, so you can see over here, like your regular e-mart stuff. So if we needed toilet paper, paper towels, we could get those here, um, toothpaste, any of the shaving stuff. What is a quasi drug mask? They mask. We could get masks here. We don't need any masks. I stocked up on masks a while back before it got crazy. Um, just cause we use them for the air quality. But yeah, so you kind of have lots of different options for things that you can get. And then once you've got everything you want in your cart, which I think we do, so this will split up because it's not going to shop every, ship everything together. So these two things will likely ship together, but it tells you how much you're paying for shipping on them. And it's got my address over here. And then over here, it's just going to give you the other things that we already had in our cart. So I'm selecting them. I'm going to place an order. Do you want to order? Yes, I want to order. And now I can decide when do I want it to arrive. So today is Sunday. They're not going to be shipping anything to me, <laughs> but I can get it tomorrow from 11 to uh, 2 o'clock. So I will be home tomorrow. So 11 to 2 o'clock, it's a good deal. There's a question here that wants you to know whether or not you want them to replace out of stock items. 
So for me, if it's out of stock, I just want them to reject it. I don't want them to choose something else for me um, because it may not be exactly what I want. So that's just my choice. And then this one will ship a little bit separately. So it will not probably not come tomorrow. It could come later. And so then I'm just going to click on continue over here. And then for us, put it at the door. That's usually what I do. It puts your shipping information up in this section. So then because there is access without password, they don't need a password to get to the front of my door. So we'll put that there. That's for if you live in an apartment building and they need the access code to get into a door downstairs. Right. So that would be your common entrance number. Or if they're supposed to for your apartment, you have to leave it at the guard room, whatever, you would put that there. I don't have any requests upon delivery. So they usually just do a really good job. They text me, give me updates, I actually get pictures of when I order stuff of it at the door, which I can show you in a little bit. And then this message is delivered to the courier. I think I usually put, please put it at the door. And then they have your cell phone number there, your order name, your email, and then refund method when sold out, refund by payment method when ordering, or receive automatic refunds as deposits. So I just have them refund my payment method. And then down here, I don't have any coupons because I don't have a Korean card, but some of the cards will give you coupons. I don't know what most of those are. That stuff is in Korean. But to be fair, I don't really, I don't have a Korean credit card and I'm actually paying with my normal card. So they give you a couple different ways to pay and you can use points if you have them here. If you've got like a SSG gift certificate, you could use that here. Um, we are just going to use overseas issued credit card. I usually leave it in US, use the selected method and I'm agreeing to the terms and I'm going to click there and then this box pops up. So a couple things can happen when you get to this stage. So when you go to enter your credit card information, I have entered it before where the bank thought it was a false charge and it didn't take it the first time. And then I had to go back. The bank sent me an email and then the second time I processed it processed. So it just depends. So if that's your situation, you should be aware of this. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and enter credit card information and then click send. And here's where you can choose if you want to put it in one or US. Pretty sure I just le usually leave it in one. Somebody converts it one way or another, so I just usually choose what it automatically has. Then you're going to wait, and here it brings up which bank I'm using. Um, transaction error. So this is showing you that occasionally your bank is going to say um, no. So when that happens, I'm waiting for my bank to send me an email, which usually happens relatively quickly. You know I just got the email. It's Wells Fargo. And so then I have to tell them that everything is okay. So since my purchase didn't go through, I will enter it again. So our order has been completed. So that tells you that was my final payment. My total shipping cost was $2.56 and that's for them to deliver that directly to my front door. I just got a email confirming it and also they, if you don't know what Kakao Talk is, we can have a conversation about that later. But Kakao Talk is a messaging system that most Koreans use. Um, and I've gotten a confirmation from Kakao that they got our delivery. But then, so I'll show you with orders. So if we go over here to orders, it's going to show you, it's going to break down what's in what order. So for this, my payment is completed so you can see these are the things that are coming in this delivery so these will be delivered monday from 11 to 1400 these are going to be delivered separately so these orders will be basically fulfilled a little bit separate and can take up to two days so they're estimating wednesday for the drinks and thursday for the meat that can change they'll let me know if that changes so for example the pot that we used in one of our videos I bought here and so you see that they delivered it and so the blue is a separate it's a parcel delivery whereas the yellow is from eMart if you look here I can click on real-time delivery information uh, it might be so it's probably been too long so usually you can click on real-time delivery information on these ones that are completed so if you click on real-time delivery it will actually show you the actual delivery to your house so like at your door show you outside the door so but it's been a little while since I've done that, so it's not gonna show me that. So you can always check your orders for more information. So they go through these stages, product prep, departure waiting, store departure shipping, and then completing your delivery. There are also other things in here. So like we went to eMart Traders at one point, Chuck and I could come here to eMart Traders and we could shop here if we chose to, which we might in the future, because there were a couple things we liked there and we might just wanna go check and see if they have it. 
Anyway, so you can order from any of these little places up here. So you've got the mall, we've got department stores, you know, I just shop at Emar. <laughs> All right, so the next phase of this video will be when stuff arrives, we'll do a unboxing or in the case of some of the stuff that's coming from Emart, it'll be an unbagging because it comes in a nice big brown paper bag. So we will see you then. All right, everybody. I know we said that the stuff from Emart arrives in a bag. It usually does. It has before, but today we got it in a box. A banana box. A banana nana box. We would have shown you what it looked like outside, but it was raining, so we didn't leave it out there. But I have a picture of the picture that they send me when they deliver it. So I'll, we can put that somewhere in your shot. Anyway, so um, this obviously is not everything that we ordered. Also, we had a cancellation because they're out of stock on my water. So her little bottles of water got canceled. But we got our box of... Sada. Chilsing Sada. Chilsing or Chilsung? Chilsung, Chilsung Sada. We've got... These are bags of just noodles. No seasoning, no other stuff. It's just ramen noodles. Yay, just ramen. And that is good for if you're cooking stuff that you need ramen noodles for, but you don't need the ramen seasoning, which does happen on occasion. Uh, these... I uh, don't know. We thought were, this, were similar. We thought they were just noodles, but apparently they've got some sort of pack in it. So we're going to find that out We're not sure point. what it is. Let's find out. That one is a bone broth. It's called Gam Tong. Gam, Gam Tong? Yeah. Um, his parents really, really enjoy a different brand that makes that. So we're going to try that brand and see. So anyway, it's got a white, it's got a white bone broth style uh, seasoning in it. And it's served with, uh, or at least in the picture, it's served with beef. There's a soup whose name I cannot remember at the top, off the top of my head that looks like that. Gam, Gam Tong? Oh, I think Gam Tong is the one you pull the... Gong Tong's the pork knuckle soup. I'll, I'll look He'll it up. He'll look later. that up because I can't think of it right now and tell you. And then there's the bone broth, oh, so, which is also gong tong. Yes. So this is actually just the broth itself. This is what you would use if you were actually trying to make galbi tong is the, the, there you go. the beef soup. What we're waiting on still is the McCall, which is being shipped separately because it's in a box. And the beef. And the beef, which is being shipped separately. So, so they, they have been shipped out. I did get notice that they were shipped out, but I don't have a delivery update. This is our this is our haul this week. Yep. So yeah, you order it, it shows up at the door. Big surprise. Um, but maybe we'll show you the rest of the stuff uh, when it gets here. When it arrives, yeah. When it arrives. Because that beef looked pretty good. That beef looked pretty good. I hope it looks as pretty when it gets here. Mm, me mm -hmm. too. Groceries. To your door. Didn't even have to leave home for any of it. You can get groceries and dodge the Rona. So we'll show you the rest of it when it gets here. So, All right, welcome to another day. The next day, actually. Uh, we still got our box of stuff from yesterday. Our other deliveries have arrived. We have a box of McColl, which is taped all the way around so your stuff doesn't drop out. And the same with the styrofoam packaged container of meat. Now, the styrofoam package container of meat should have something that keeps it cool in there as well. There we go. Yep, that, there you go. That's got an ice pack in there. And that, technically, you can keep and reuse. Mm -hmm. So it's a free ice pack. And how does our bulgogi meat look? It's not bad. I don't know if you can see it through the condensation there. But... It's actually kind of pretty. So, nice. It's not supposed to have a lot of fat on it. So, bulgogi meat in general is not going to be very fatty. And that we can either... Put straight into the fridge or in the freezer. So that's what uh, getting your groceries delivered at home is like in Korea. Yeah. Anyway, so there's your infomercial for this week. So like, subscribe, do the internet stuff, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.